Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Today, I'm going to do supplement lesson for Guitar Wisdom subscribers. So this means supplement lesson from Guitar Wisdom root third seven, root seven third, which is seventh chord. Okay, so this case I'm using a dominant seven. Generally, you like you play maybe this type of chords. So then you have to know root fifth plus seven third or fifth root. But this case, I I'm using this. So the first, let me show you the two chords. I let me see. Yeah, B flat blues is good, right? So beginning I play B flat blues, B flat jazz blues with metronome on the 40, but the metronome on the 2 4, okay? So the real tempo is 80 per beat, you know? And in this case, the first one, okay, you use second finger on a sixth string, sixth fret, and fifth string you mute with your second finger. And use third finger, sixth fret, fourth string. Okay, and last one, your pinky, fourth finger on the third string, seventh fret. And people always say, "Why you don't play this way?" I play this way too. If I play thirteen, but this case, I use second, third, fourth finger. Trust me, this way you learn how to use your other finger, first finger to mute. Beautiful. So here you have root plus seven third. If you don't know the interval, you wanna study a little bit theory, okay? It's not science. <laughs> it's simple. It's not a rocket science. I don't know what I mean. So here, the first you have to practice, you strum down and strum up. And I use um, pick boy pick and um, one millimeter celluloid, which is a kind of soft material, okay? And then I hold the pick like this, with two fingers, obviously, and just, you know, very simple. And I strum down from top of the guitar to bottom. So that's why I'm playing acoustic guitar because acoustic guitar has distance like this. Okay, so what you want to do is play all the notes, but only play, th you know, I mean, you are getting root 7 third. Now, most common mistake is your first finger start pressing down a little too hard you ended up you getting D from fifth string. That's correct or not, but you don't want that. You want this, clear, root, seven, third. Downstroke, upstroke. And why? All people ask why. Just because it's a big group, good sound, but also I found Third seven is a core technique for me to play funk music. So if you study with me private lesson, I don't I don't show you funk first. This is the first one. I did the same thing to John Mayer, Eric Krasno, everybody. One is two, you know. So you see that like downstroke, upstroke, muted. Takes time. So first you have to go. No rhythm, no need a rhythm, right? I'm so excited to teach you this. This is great. Okay, so you have to understand, downstroke, you get the sound all muted. 
So when you practice, this is correct. But if you go, that's incorrect for this exercise because you want to get every time upstroke so that you get really good left hand muting technique. Okay, let's move on. Next chord, which is E flat seven. This case, I am using second finger on the fifth string, sixth fret root, first finger, fourth string, fifth fret, major third, third finger, fourth string, sixth fret, how to say, it? and flat seven, and I'm using a little bit my thumb to mute. Six string, like that. And of course I use electric guitar too. But this, you can do acoustic guitar also. You got that? So you practice first like this. So every time you have upstroke lightly. One more time. One, two, three. Here. Four. You have to have upstroke to go next chord. Most people do like this. Because it's easy. I'm not looking for anything easy. Practice hard. It's, it's not easy. That's why you get better. Right? So this is tempo. Tempo is... It's not how you want it. You have to determine as long as you can mute everything, that's the tempo. So if you cannot mute, then you exceed the level that you have to stay in. Okay? Now, you see my thumb position. Yeah. So the B flat 7, your thumb position around the center, maybe a little above. Then E flat, still you have a little room inside of here, you know? Inside, not grabbing like this, you know? And back to B flat, like this. Okay, so on first step, without the metronome, and you do this. So this is one of my tape lessons, first lesson, I give this, uh, you know, assignment. So first I said, play slowly to play. Because you have to really play upstroke, okay? Always singing. Softly, so that your guitar is not too loud. Like that. Okay? So you have to do really slow. So what happened is, first lesson, um, you know, assignment, and I say play, play slowly without metronome and the people confuse us you know without metronome people think this is slow
but then change the rhythm like that. So you, you shouldn't change the rhythm, everything the same, because it has to be super boring, you know? <laughs> So the first, you know, okay, so this section about swing groove assignment is play slowly without the metronome two, three times. And if usually people do a little faster, but some people do uh, uh, slow. Nice. So next one, third one, I ask usually try to play metronome on two on four to 40. Very difficult to do. Okay. So let me try. A one, two, three, four. That's supposed to do, but a lot of people do like this. A one, two, three, four. Rushing, you know. So one, two, a one. Two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. So sometimes you practice, you know, just one bar in time. Then a one, two, three, four. And move your body. problem is not following the chord progression. Usually 1144, four, that's very common, very international. Everybody does that. So this specific one, 1411, 4415, 5415. So you go. So every time up stroke, one more time, and move your body. So like that, make a video yourself and post unlisted on YouTube and yourself watch. That's the best way to learn. Because if you don't watch yourself, how are you gonna know how you do it, you know? I do this every single day. Record, watch, and listen. So sing a melody and um, great. So now what happened, first month I teach this one and next month or month later, students send a tape back with a tape recorder here and uh, doing wrong. And especially 40, you cannot gro groove or uh, using the right um, like muting technique because muting technique so this, so, uh, even this tempo, some students cannot play. Fine. And what you, sh what you have to do, now repeat, you have to stop. Anything problem, first you have to stop, figure it out. So it means 40, two and four means 80 per beat. Didn't work. That means you have to slow down, slow down, slower than 80. So this case, I'm gonna do 50, that's what I ask usually. So really difficult, it's almost a slow blues. Almost like uh, become very patient. <laughs> That's why I'm very patient. Yeah. Slobos. So good. 
if if I have a free time, I do this all in a long time. But I have to go to shopping very soon. <laughs> Some butter and regular butter. What else do I should buy? Some meat, yeah. One more time. Yeah, potato chips too. <laughs> Shopping list. So here, no fills, nothing. This is so effective. So all you have to do, look up root 37 swing. A lot of lesson comes up. You have to watch. For guitar wisdom, FC foundation chords. You have to do it. I think. That's it. You did it. So, so many way to develop from here. This is foundation. Foundation means good, good technique that help many, many things. That's why some of my former students who do, who do successful, why these guys improve more and more? Just because they took seriously about these. Not jamming, not just writing on song. Really practice details. That's what I like about my, you know, teaching on lesson, just because it works if you don't do right don't work you know so this is really cool so if you want to be funky do anything so this is great all right thank you so much just let me know how you feel this supplemental lesson okay so let me see i write the notes like this you know so that i can just i don't write the shopping list because i i remember what to buy but in this case, I have to make sure. Yeah, we did it. Nice. Haha. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching Tomohusa Music. If you like my channel, Tomohusa Music, please subscribe, share with your friends. If you're a guitar player, I highly recommend to join the Guitar Wisdom because I teach everything over there. All right. Again, thank you so much. Orange Wood, Eva Mahogany. This is a perfect guitar. Is, I mean, frets is nice, neck is nice, never ever had any problem, and this tuner is really nice. I can't believe this is under a thousand, and then it sounds great. That's a song great too. Alright, see you soon. Take care.